I get asked this question all the time. Mr. GB, how do I best read the codes on my car? Plugging in via the OBD port. It's no surprise to anyone who knows the F types, these have a bit of a problem when you use the OBD port. Let me explain. In the driver's footwell, you have, you can just about see that there, an OBD port. And that's where you will plug things in, such as code readers. To find out the health of your car, or diagnose any faults if you have warning lights come up on the dashboard. Now, the F-Type is a bit special in the fact that when you unplug that code reader, it doesn't shut down the onboard computers, and you have to disconnect the battery to turn them off, otherwise you end up with a parasitic drain on your battery, flattening in term the battery. I'm fed up of saying battery. So what I'm gonna to do today, I'm gonna to plug in my OBD reader. I've got the Topton RT Diag 500S. Good bit of kit. I'm gonna plug it in and I'm gonna check the health of this car. I've got nothing on the dashboard. I just want to see what's going on. And then I'm gonna show you how we properly shut down those onboard computers. And as always guys, if you're not already, please sub by hitting that button down below and stick around. This is dead easy to use. After a short while spent fumbling around trying to plug it in. The unit springs into life and starts looking at any codes. We're gonna turn on the ignition. Now this is connecting to the Wi-Fi, and what that's doing is that is helping this piece of kit get the latest codes, the latest firmware. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go into the OBD. It's detected the serial number of the car. And what it's doing now is it is scanning all of these codes. So what's good is I've got no fault codes in this ECU. It's created readiness checks on all of these modules. Well, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into diagnostics, auto search the VIN. It's scanning for the VIN number. Forgive me for not sharing that with you. It's found the make of the car. It's looking for the year and the model, and then it's gonna go and scan for codes on that ECU. It's saying, is this your car? And I'm gonna say, yes it is, because it's done well, it's found the correct make and model and I'm going to ask it for a health report. Everything's looking good. There's no faults on any of these modules. Let's have a look, see if there's anything stored. No fault codes, that's perfect. So this car has got a clean bill of health. So I'm quite satisfied. All of this is in good health, so I now know I have nothing I need to do, but if I had a light that had come up on the dashboard here, engine management light or a brake light or, um, you know, uh, ABS light, something like that, I could go in here and I could look at that code. But today, I don't need to, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm gonna do another video in time on the full functionality of this because this is a fantastic bit of kit. But for now, let's get back to the main point in hand about how do I correctly disconnect this from the car. Now, the easiest way to tell if your onboard computer hasn't shut down correctly after using the OBD reader is this little guy here. He will stay illuminated for a prolonged period of time after you lock the car. So you'd have to peek in the window and if this is still lit up, you've got a problem. So what can we do about it? That's a great question. So what we need to do is we need to find ourselves in the boot of the car. And what we want to do, if I can get in there, is we want to disconnect the battery for 30 seconds to a minute to allow all the computers to shut down. So. Let's whip that off and then we should see that that light goes out. Now, 
possibly a bit overkill using a half inch 13 mil to undo that. But anyway, it's off. I'm gonna have a cup of tea and then when I come back, I'm gonna pop that back on and it should have reset all the computers. A few moments later. We're back, we've had a cup of tea. Let's get the battery back on, make sure that light's gone off and that should be case closed. We can close the car up and know that it's happy, healthy with no codes on it. So the light is on, but that's because the car's open. Let's get it shut, let's get it locked, and then we'll see if that goes off. So we're gonna lock the car. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it. That light there in a couple of minutes should go out. So let's give it 60 seconds or so, and let's come back and have a look. So there we have it. Hopefully that goes some way into explaining some of the issues you can encounter when using an OBD reader on these cars. It's always best to shut it down properly rather than just yanking it out like I did, but I need to put a bit of time into actually working out how to turn that off. It's a great bit of kit and I'm looking forward to using it a bit more in the future. I'll do another video on the full functionality of that tool um, in the near future, so keep your eyes peeled for that. But anyway, thanks for hanging around for yet another video guys love all the support and appreciation this channel gets so as always hit that button down below if you're not already subscribed and i'll see you in the next video peace oh, it would help if i actually sat on the car rather than fall off so there we have it hopefully that's